Okay, so easy runs, misunderstood. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why people misunderstand easy runs and because of that, end up doing them wrong, getting frustrated with them and just generally not getting the benefits from. So this video is going to be around all those things. So let's get on with it. So I'm just about six miles into a 12 mile easy run. So some tips for some easy running. Keep it conversational. If somebody's running with you, you could talk. Be aware, tip number two, that there's different types of easy running. So for my runners, you could be running a zone one, which would be very, very easy conversational. You know, if I stop running now, for some runners, this is what they'd have to do to be able to speak like this. You have a zone two, which if you rang me up while I was doing this video, you'd be aware that I was exercising because of my breathing, but I could still talk. So you've got gears, you've got gears that you can go through even in easy running. Number three, for me, go by feel, run to feel, see how you feel. Don't use heart rate. Morning, I say don't use heart rate. Heart rate can be brilliant, but it can lead a lot of non-elite athletes down a lot of dark alleys because they go through their easy run and their heart rate's really high. Now, that might be because they don't have a chest trap. So it's garbage in, garbage out, bad data in, bad input, bad input out. But even sometimes if they're using a chest strap, the heart rate can be very variable. So sometimes running to feel is a better option. And also, as I said earlier in the video, remember, easy doesn't always mean slow. It just means conversational. And finally, know why you're doing it. For many runners, they don't understand what running easy can give them. So there's many, so many runners will have a very well developed zone three, four, five. They can move pretty quick, but actually they have an underdeveloped base. So that's like building a house on really bad foundations. So when runners come to us to be coached and their running's plateaued, they're saying, I've got PVs for this, PVs for that, and it's just plateaued. Quite often, they're not as aerobically strong as they think they are. And when we ask them to do easy running, some of them get very frustrated because it seems so slow. But if you've ever watched houses being built, you see the foundations go down, don't you? And it takes forever. You know, you drive past and you think, are they ever gonna get that house up? Is it ever gonna happen? And then you go past again, doesn't look like anything's happening. And then you go past one week and it's like, my oh God, it's nearly built. But there's been stuff happening all the time. You just haven't seen it. And that's what easy running is about. So for instance, I'm now talking to you and I'm running seven and a half minute miles. That's fairly easy for me, but I've got a spectrum of easy running. You know, this would be probably near the top end for me. If I wanted to sound less breathless to you, just slow it down a little bit. Still easy running. So it's key to understand why you're doing this. And then finally, and this is for another video, it doesn't mean you do all your runs so easy. People are always looking for absolutes. They're always looking for the magic pill. And of course the internet's gonna give you that. It's gonna give you that extremist thing. Do all your runs quick. Do all your runs slow. And you know what? The unsexy bit, somewhere in the middle. But yes, if you've been doing loads of your runs too hard and you haven't built up your aerobic base, then you will need to do a good percentage of your runs really easy. I've got a runner at the moment who's really, really a quick 10K runner. We've had to drop him out of a lot of his zone two running because he's so fast. So suddenly, zone two running isn't easy for him anymore. It's quite hard. So we, he's doing more zone one running. So it's not up in one size. What I can say is that you will have, in the majority of cases, runners, if they're struggling with their running and they're not getting results, broadly speaking, their aerobic base is not developed. So that's broadly speaking. That's not to say that you then you don't add in some strides or some sort of intensity, depending on their goals and the development, as icing on the cake. So use 
run to feel for your easy runs. But remember, they don't have to be slow run. Just meet yourself where you presently are. That's the big thing. And don't compare yourself to other people.